Jace, Jessica, oh, what the? New intro, eh? <laughs> I think the animation's been a bit more fluid, too. Uh, a bit. And Jace got a bit of a makeover. Everyone's about the same, though. I like the new intro, Jace. Good job. All I knew about this was that Jace got a new hair or style, let his hair grow out a bit, so. This is a nice little makeover. But let's focus on the episode at hand. We'll talk about the theme song and the uh, final thoughts. If I remember. You always looked out to me for others when we were children. I don't know what makes me happier in this moment. Being engaged for almost seven months to the boy that I love. Seven months? Has it really been that long? I are finally almost done picking out who gets to be part of our wedding. I'm with you there, love. We've been engaged for only a while, and these past few months have been so busy for us on all of the planning we've done. Please so tell me that's not seven months in real time, or she'll help me. <laughs> oh, God. As we are doing it together. That's right. So who do you want to be your maid of honor? I have Mimi or Juliet in mind. And honesty goes far when I say that this decision has been tough on me. I can see why. Between the two of them, Juliet has been your best friend for the longest time, and Mimi has always been somebody who isn't afraid to get tough and strict. If I was in your shoes right now picking a maid of honor, I would do one of two things. Make both Juliet and Mimi maids of honor. Or trust my gut on which of the two I think would be the better choice. You do bring up some good points. Thanks. I know how stressful all the planning has been, and I just want everything to go as smooth as possible for us. Man plans God laughs. Lodge. It sure was nice of Jimmy to let us host the wedding at the lodge. I wonder if it has something to do with you going back to the Tyndale Tide and working there part time to earn some extra cash on the side. I'm not sure you need in this economy. Case, but I will say that me going back to work at the Tyndale Tide has been super helpful to Jenny, taking a lot of stress off her back. You don't know the half of it, Jace. Hey, Samir. MVP! Jenny's gratitude for you stepping up and coming back part-time has gone a long way. There are less workers and too many job openings all over town. So it's nice to see people like you stepping up. Don't mention it. So one of these days, I want to accomplish plans for and Samir being a boss for like no, eight minutes. Really. One of those Jace sorts of comp compilations. To stay home. He and I still have a lot of wedding stuff to figure out, which includes deciding who gets to take part in the wedding. How unfortunate, but I understand. I know your wedding planning comes first. A shame. I was hoping you two would be able to tag along. Me and Kenzie are gonna be doing jello shots in her dad's den. Jello shots with Kenzie? Oh dear, that has trouble written all over it. Can you remind us again how many shots you have been known to put away? Up to 20 shots Jeez. without getting drunk. Tonight I'm hoping to beat that record. You know, I always like Jello shots with actual Jello. Accidentally get wasted. <laughs> Some you're drunk. How would that even? I guess he would be an angry drunk, probably. Uh. It's so nice to have. Don't see Samir angry very often. I'll say. After it's everyone dealing with Karens, but you know. Overall to the old rule system here, things are looking up. Now we don't have to worry about unwanted tenants or unwanted assholes living in Valley Heights anymore. Yeah, it's so nice not <laughs> having to look over your shoulder. Knock on the door, it's laundry. James. Hello, ladies! Some prick came up trying to hit on me while I was in the laundry room, and I nailed him in his cock and balls hard and good. Oh yeah, How? I remember you telling us about that. I'm guess it was I Paxton him from all the way in the apartment. What was even funnier was that that jerk was out of Valley Heights the week after that incident happened. Good riddance, that's what I say. It was so tempting for me to want to kick his ass even more, but this dude ran out like a complete pussy after I nailed him. Ran like Sonic the Hedgehog oddly. What else is tempting? 
wanting to know who is going to be part of Jace and Jessica's wedding as members of the wedding party. I would say me and the twins are sure to land a spot to be part of the wedding. Jace and Jessica have known the three of us for years. The three of us in the wedding I would say is a guarantee. Let's not forget about Mimi. There's no doubt in my mind that she'll be in the wedding too. High chance that she's also in the running for maid of honor. What about Juliet? She too has a high chance of becoming the maid of honor. After all, she has known Jessica K the longest out of any of us. It's not up to any of us to decide who gets to be Jessica's maid of honor. It's Jessica and Jace's wedding. Heather so seems oddly thing. calm about all hey, this. Taylor. Taylor. This? Sorry, names, weakness. Taylor. Wait, what? Oh, what she was paying now? attention. Okay, that's why. No, I didn't hear what you asked me, Amberlyn. Sorry. I thought she'd be like, I know something you girls don't know. It's been on the dating apps again. Oh, ha ha. Very funny. Girl, you have got to get away from checking those dating apps every so often. Get out and socialize to increase your odds. Then you'll have the right guy turn up in no time. Touch grass. Amberlyn is right. Surely you've had at least a couple of dates over the last six months. Eh. Believe it or not, I haven't. Most of the guys on these apps are just looking for hookups rather than serious relationships. Send nudes. While most of the others aren't my kind of guy I'm looking to date. Especially this creep named Pombo. Some brown-haired old fat guy who looks like he still lives in his parents' basement. Oh god, it's, it's the sad thing as I know who you're talking you about. Dating, I would say that is a sign you should start trying new tactics. But until then, you should really take a break. I think Juliet is right, sis. You should take a break. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'll take a break. We just freaking bring that point oh, to the ground. On. Now what do we have here? I thought you were going to take a break. Hold on. I was about to. Before I do. Then some guy on one of the dating apps sent me a message. Who? Another random guy who's just looking for a hookup. Hold on. I'm looking at his profile. What? Now, he's a hottie. Oh, frick. Well, that certainly wasn't the answer I was expecting to hear. And that's what happened. What? Wow. Oh. So does this mean that Taylor is finally going okay. to on a date again? Possibly, yeah. It will depend, though, on how well Taylor really gets to know this guy. She was still texting him when I left. Taylor could get lucky with this guy. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. It's Samir. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sure. We should lend her a few pointers. We could, but let's let things play out first for Taylor. Did you and Jace get there? Is her old boyfriend down? back? We're getting there, but Jace and I are still trying to figure some stuff out first before making any super big decisions. Speaking of Jace, could you go upstairs and tell him that dinner's almost ready? Sure, no problem. I'll let Samir know too. Samir isn't here. He's over at Kinsey's house doing, doing jello shots. shots. Why do I get the strange feeling that something might happen to Samir? Oh, you never know with him when he's doing jello shots. We're going to do like a family guy cutaway gag. <laughs> well. Oh, geez. Sorry, Carly. I didn't see you coming. It's okay. I was just about to come upstairs and let you know dinner's almost ready. I'll get my 19 Mountain Dews. To watch TV, but not a huge deal. I can wait till after dinner. Don't you think you've already watched plenty of Paw Patrol? Who said I was wanting to watch Paw Patrol down here? I was planning to watch some miraculous ladybug. Come on, let's go join Jessica at the dinner table. Who are you? What have you done with Chase? Jace watches something other than Paw Patrol, <laughs> and I'm just... Blasphemy! <laughs> I don't believe you! <sighs> Wait, then what's the other minutes? Credits? Is it just a black screen? Oh, what? Did you fake me out? Were you faking me out, Jace? There's like hey, a post credit Carly, scene. Remind me how we got roped into watching Miraculous Ladybug with Jace. Your guess is as good as mine, Jessica. The power of the jump cut. This is the reason I put this darn phone on silent when I'm watching TV. 
Hello? Who is this? Hi, Jace. It's Kenzie. Oh, hello, Kenzie. What can we do for you and Samir? I need a big favor. I need you or Jessica K, or both of you to come to my place and pick Samir up. Can't Samir walk home from- Uh, place? no, he beat his record. Well, that's just it. He can't. He got drunk after having 30 jail 30? shots. 30? I figured he beat his record, but I didn't know that much. Right over. See you in a bit. Bye. Is everything okay, Jace? Kenzie wants us to come and get Samir from her place. It seems that Samir had one too many jello shots. Uh-oh. Yeah. Hopefully his liver can take it. Ugh, we'll have to set up for the next episode, that's for sure. I thought it was gonna happen and be like, well actually this could still happen where we just go to the next episode and it's like, so here's what was happening in, in Samir's side of the story and then we get to like where we were then. Not impossible. Uh, I hope, I just hope Samir's gonna be okay after this because the liver can only take so much. It's where the liver's the only organ though that can regenerate. You think you'd want to put mass produce? Ah, eh, friggin' I just hope Samir's okay. Eh, I hope he's not like, Actually, yeah. I kind of hope he's only passed out. Imagine ang well actually if it was Samir being more angry, we'd probably there'd be more distress in the voice. Like, Jace, come now, hurry. Hmm. That's why I just passed out. Keep him laying sideways. We got someone who's drunk. Go sideways. Why don't have him be sideways? That way they can still breathe and if they puke, they it, they're already on their side and they don't like, you know, drown in their own vomit or something like that. You know, in case anyone watching has had that experience. Some people find out the hard way. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, on a more brighter note, I like the new intro, though, Jace. Uh, very good job on that one. <laughs> you, you see freaking 56 episodes of the Meta Runners theme and stuff like that. It's like, hey, there's nothing wrong with that, of course. It's still a great bop and all that jazz. But I didn't expect you to go with Psycho's song and then have an actual opening intro, you know? Really moving up in the world with that budget increase, eh? <laughs> Come a long way. And it, speaking of coming a long way, it's ridiculous to think, kind of, well, kind of ridiculous at least. I think we're seven months into them being engaged. Like, it was like three years ago that this series started and they had gone through a bad breakup and Jessica, Jessica was giving him a second chance. And now look how far we've come, you know? It is crazy to think about how far that it was. It went from they split up to we are getting married eventually. Engagements can last a long time. <sighs> but yeah. It's crazy to think about it like how far we've come. You know, Samir is gonna get gotten stone cold drunk and hopefully it, he's gonna be okay. Don't lose, we can't lose Samir. He's too popular to die. <laughs> I just hope he'll be okay. Probably gonna need some talking to after that. Be like, uh, stop doing that. Uh, don't do that again, or I or I'll hate you for all five seconds. And we none of us want that to happen. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think Jason would kill Samir though. He, did, he doesn't seem to really be. He doesn't seem like anyone would do that. <laughs> Jay's be like, what are you, crazy? You killed my most popular character? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> uh, well, at least one of my most popular, you know? Samir is exactly carrying this ship, but he's responsible for a good load. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, other than that, I was just mostly catching up with the characters, which is nice to check out and stuff like that. Everyone's yeah, just getting back together and going on what we're doing for, further. Taylor's gonna get a new boyfriend, he's apparently gonna be a hottie. Probably some new character, or be like, what a reveal, it's someone we've seen before, and James will watch and be like, will we see you again? <laughs> and what was his name? <laughs> oh god, I've seen this series for three years straight, you'd think I'd have an idea of what the characters are and who they were and all that jazz, but nope! 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 Why would I do that? Oh jeez. Do I need to rewatch from episode one? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Plot twist, it's AJ. He's back in the series. That would be a plot twist. Gotta give me that one. It would be a twist. It would be a twist that even Jace didn't see coming. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. 
Who could it be? Her, is mystery her mystery boyfriend or love interest? Find out next time, maybe eventually. Find out sooner or later. If we haven't found out already, who knows? Anyway, yeah, this is a much brighter tone after I just saw the Moonlight High thing. So yeah, hopefully everything will turn out great and uh, with Samir, and it will all get better. Until next time, later. <laughs>